Okay, so once again, good morning ladies and gentlemen. So our topic for today is about the sub-secondary classification. Uh, so this is attained by ridge counting the loops or ridge tracing the whorl appearing in the index, middle, and ring finger. Okay, so take note on that. So I will just make an illustration again for everybody to understand this one. So we have... Okay, so I will go directly with the symbols. There's no need for you to black out. Okay, so if you still remember uh, from the primary to secondary classification by capital letter and small letter, we started uh, illustrating and giving example on what the fingers are involved on the classification so on the class on the on the primary classification we are just going to look for the numerator and the denominator now on the sub secondary classific uh, no i mean for the secondary classification by capital letter we only involve this index finger now on the secondary classification by small letter Fingers that are involved are your middle finger, ring finger, and then your little finger. Now, on the sub-secondary classification, uh, involved finger are your index finger, middle finger, and then your ring finger. So, I will just uh, go directly with the symbols. Okay, so this is tented arc, plain arc, rad, rad loop. Double loop whirl, central pocket loop whirl, rada loop, rada loop, ulnar loop, and then this is accidental whirl, and then R. Okay, so before we proceed on the sub secondary classification, we have to uh, go back to your uh, what do we call this one? Mm. We have the loops group for both hands. So, when, uh, if the given is tented arc and plain arc, you represent it as a dash. So, uh, there are uh, there are already already given counting and tracing since this is for classroom activity but if you are going to do it actual on your finger or uh, fingerprints then you have to count your fingerprints and then ridge trace it and then answer the sub-secondary classification so the counting for ridge is 11 so this is uh, outer uh, meeting so there are two symbols for ridge uh, for ridge for Rajan loop and ulnar loop we have uh, the inner and then the outer for whirl we have meeting outer and inner okay so you do not have any problem with the whirl because directly meron na dyan sa given if uh pero dito sa sa loop you have to follow the uh, loop groups for both hands so we have the uh, equivalent for ridge count so example is uh, these are just examples oh, we'll just uh, finish this one the ridge count for is 12 13 and then 14 okay take down note on this you have to listen carefully so that you will understand it uh, easily so for it so, so I just mentioned a while ago that you're just going to involve your index middle and then your ring so for index finger uh, for index finger we have the county reach count one to nine is the symbol for that is inner and then uh, 10 or more is outer and then for your middle ring the counting for 1 to 10 is inner and then 11 or more will be outer 
Another one is your ring finger. Okay, your ring finger, uh, 1 to 13, is inner. And then, um, 14 or more will be outer. So, you have to follow this one. So, like for example, since this is your index finger, okay, so this is your index finger. So, this is the equivalent for index finger. So, this is 11 or more. So, the, the symbol for this is O. So, outer. And then, automatic, you're just going to copy meeting. Pero, how are you going to do that? Since merong nakasulat dyan, dito na ako maglalagay ng FPC. Okay. Okay, pero kulang ang space. Saan ba yung eraser ko? Okay. Sige, dito na lang ako magsusulat. Pababa ko yan ha. Para hindi kayo lalong mahilo. Okay, dito 9. 1 to 10, eto yung index. Okay, so dito na lang ako sasagot ha. F, P, C. Nako. Talagang kulang tayo ng space. Okay, dito na. Siya na lang mag-adjust. Parang ako lang. Ako nang mag-adjust. Diba? I am doing all my best, but my best is not enough for my student to pass this subject. I even, I even uh, uh, record myself talking to my whiteboard for your sake, but it seems that uh, you do not cooperate with me. But it's up to you if you want to pass this subject, then try watching it. Okay? So, we will answer first the primary classification. So, we have to look for the numerator and then the denominator. Okay? So, there are no world. So, we have only the given fraction, 1. And then here, we have this, 2, plus 8, 10. Plus 4, 14. Plus 1, 15. And then the, sec the secondary classification by capital letter, we have this R and then D. How about the small letter? We have this too. Okay, the 1, 2, 3, and 4. These are the fingers that are involved in your secondary classification by small letter. So since center pocket loop does not belong to small letter, this represents as a dash. How about this? Is this radal? Yes. Yeah. So, R and then dash. And then here, this is radal. Okay. R, dash, and then A. Do not forget your thumb. So, you have to write that after the primary classification and then this is A. Okay. Do not forget that the uh, your answer, answer should be aligned, okay? So, uh, primary classification for right hand and left hand should be aligned. So, 1 over 15, and then the capital letter R and D. Pag hindi yan magkatapat, automatic your answer is wrong. Okay, now, we will now proceed on the sub-secondary classification. Okay, now, on your right hand, so this is 11, higher Okay, 10 or more siya, automatic outer yan. So, this is world. There is no problem for you. You are just going to copy what is written on the symbol. So, this is 13. Let's see your ring finger, 1 to 13. So, I siya. And then, here on your left hand, okay, so you are just going to copy outer. And then, how about this 12? So, this is your middle finger. Let's see. Okay, 12. So, this is 11 or more. So, outer din ito. And then here, 14. So, let's see. 14 or more dito sa ring. So, this the answer there is outer. So, that is the answer for the sub-secondary classification. If you have a question, you are free to uh, comment down on the link on the comment box. And, of course, uh... I will always give my time to entertain all your questions if you really are interested to know about this subject matter. Thank you and God bless everyone. I will be giving another example if uh, I see to it that uh, my student cannot follow 
the instruction and the step on the classification of fingerprint. God bless and take care everyone.